All right, we're finally gonna hopefully finish it off here in the next hour or so, maybe. I don't know, might be less time left than that. And there she is, right where I left her. Very good. All right, there's nothing else in this room, so we can go on. All I got is my knife. Oh, wait, there's actually a... Is there a room back here? This is a door back here. Nah, you can't get into it. I wonder if there's actually going to be enemies in here, or if it's just going to be those humans in the suits. Oh, controller battery. Better plug this in. Alright, alright. Plug this in. There we go. I'm plugged in now. This, we can duck under here. So here. Go through here. Well, let's, let's see what's. Let's see if we can go over here first. I mean, this game is pretty linear, but every now and again you can find an extra item or something. Oh no, this door's locked. Okay. Oh, and my flashlight's off. All right, there we go. Blocked. Lock is broken. Get okay. I love this knife, it's just too good. Down we go. Holy crap, what is what is going on in here? Is that? No, oh, that's not Wheeler. He's white. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> how the heck did they Oh they, it's a pipe. I thought it was a bat. I was like, how do they lodge a baseball bat in his body? Anyway, let's get this, take this from him. Got the steel pipe. He does not look good. So I don't think I'm gonna need to use a steel pipe though. At least not for these guys. It's much better to use a knife because they can't hit you. Let's see, we can break that window. Break that window. Go! Oh. <laughs> Why are their voices so loud? <laughs> it's like they have speakers in their in their helmet things face masks. Alright, exam the paper lists more people they've brought here to torture. The decree of ordained cancer the following have been chosen to serve the will of our divine lord James L, Tony E, Justin H, Ryan N, Anna L, Matt N, Jeremy E, Sarah R, Jeffrey E, Roger J. Do not make any mistakes. Remember the penalty for not following the word. All repent for our kingdom is near. A bunch of loonies. I got a gun now, that's good. I was just thinking, like, why did they... Why did they give you all that ammo? 
I don't know, maybe that was before the church. Maybe it was that before or after the church they gave you all that ammo. It's like, why would they give you all the ammo when you, they take it away from you? I don't know. Through the Fog, A Skeptic in Silent Hill by Paul Sh... I don't know how to say that. Schteibel? Schteibel? The town known for its mysterious happenings and now defunct cult, The Order, which was recently exposed by Detective Douglas Cartlin. Oh, Douglas! That was, that was from Silent Hill 3, I'm guessing. But what darkness really lies behind the simple veneer of this sleepy town? Paul Schiebel's latest book chronicles his research during a two-year stay in the town, including detailed interviews with longtime residents, cult documents you won't find anywhere else, and an appendix of popular local legends. As expected, life in Silent Hill is more, far more mundane than you may have heard, and the great evil the Order sought to find originated from the same abyss whence all religions sprang, now nowhere darker than the fanatical minds of its followers. Shotgun ammo. I don't have a shotgun yet, though. I gotta find that. Why does this just lead back to nothing? Why would this be here? This is really odd. It's a strange design for the room. got through it here now. What is that? Oh, it's another child's drawing. Now, let me see something. Right, let me see something. What is this? Let's go to the journal. Let me take a look at this can't play and I'm sad. You mustn't... Oh, does it say something for all these drawings? Oh, it does. Billy, too, and Sally. Did they do something wrong? I'm afraid it's true. Child, all your friends are gone. Beware of he who took them. He goes by many names. The boogeyman, the shadowed one. But all are he the same. Remember to always behave. For sins he won't abide. He wields a rusty, jagged blade to cut out your insides. The lying little children with souls selfish and small will find their wriggling tongues cut out and nailed to his wall. And if they take what is not theirs, there can be no doubt he'll stretch out their skin until it snaps and all the blood drains out. The bullies and their spiteful wrath will find torment as well. Soon he will strike them where they stand and drag them into hell. Child, you must obey your parents, do everything they say. Little ones who do otherwise, he tortures into flames. Beatings cleanse the soul, they say, and that is what he'll do. If you don't control your anger, then he'll, you'll find, you'll feel his anger too. You and your brothers, you are your brother's keeper. Remember it always, or else the boogeyman will chain you underneath the waves. And while good children live, the bad bad ones cannot escape their fate. For once you hear his screeching wail, it's already too late. So do not cry aloud at night. Stay hidden in your bed or the boogeyman from Silent Hill will come chop off your head. The bunny seems to be flailing about in the water. Hmm. A bunny on fire. This bunny looks catatonic. A family of bunnies. Three bloody bunnies. That's all we got. Alright, so I'm glad I actually found that out. I noticed that when I was reviewing the videos, I didn't read those bits on it.